Okay guys, I went and bought this uh, Citadel 12 gauge shotgun, 20 inch barrel, I believe they call this the Boss Hog or whatever. There's another one called a Ward Hog. But I went ahead and bought this, I got it at Royal King in uh, New Philly, Ohio uh, for about a, after tax, a little over $200. So it's a semi-auto, as you can see here. Um, so this is the first fire I'm going to do with it. Um, it says, I've watched a lot of videos on it, they tell you to uh, kind of break this in, run some uh, shells through it, so that's what I'm going to do. And uh, see how it works, see if it ejects right, all that stuff, all that stuff, so. We'll see how it does, and uh, I got some targets set up behind me. Over here, just a couple water bottles, a white plastic bucket. Uh, I'm probably 20 yards away, so we're gonna go ahead and shoot this. I got some game loads to go through it, and I might shoot, uh, might shoot one uh, deer slug through it. I don't want to waste all my deer slugs; because they're kind of expensive. So. But these are Remington game loads. I'm gonna shoot through this first. I believe there's uh, 12 in this box. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. See how it, uh, see how it reacts, how it works, if it ejects. A lot of times, the videos I've watched, uh, this thing has a hard time ejecting the first 15 rounds, 10, 15 rounds you put through it. So we're gonna give it a shot. One round in the chamber. I'm four ready to go behind it. We'll see if it uh, if it jams, if it ejects right, or what it's gonna do about 36 degrees on I'm freezing cold so putting the hood up ears on let's see what happens I think my one target fell over yep all right let's go for that water bottle on the bucket okay No more rounds left in the chamber. Hammer hump uh, stays back when it's done. There's I can't I don't know if you can see that. I can't push that down. No more rounds left in the chamber. It fired all five. Um, so yeah, pretty happy so far. Now when you get done doing this, it also says in a lot of videos and uh, you know, online, do you need to clean this once you've done fired as much rounds as you want through it I think that's about all I'm gonna fire through this really don't want to waste the ammo that's about a half of that box uh, so go ahead and close the hammer safety zone always make sure your safety's on your guns unloaded so this is what I was using here Remington game loads so Nothing special, just maybe I should fire one deer to like do that. Maybe I could try that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try deer slug through this. see here <clears throat> yeah I hate to waste the deer slug but I'm gonna try one okay hammer back load okay Put my ears on. Safety off. Let's see how it shoots this uh, deer slug. 
because in two days it's deer season. Okay. Nice, nice. Awesome. Safety on. All right. Now, this is the Citadel Boss Hog. Some people call it Ward Hog. I think there's a different one. It's called the Ward Hog, but I could be wrong. 20 inch barrel. Technically, it's for a tactical gun, but you can use it for hunting. So that's what we do. I always wanted a semi auto for hunting, never had one. Uh, hopefully it doesn't jam and ejects the way it's supposed to. It's very encouraging because everything it ejected, it got hung up one time trying to load. But other than that, I think it did a pretty good job. I'm going to take this down, I'm going to clean it. But uh, I'm very happy with it so far for after tax, 200 and, it was $204 at Royal King. I can't complain. The gun's made in Turkey. Uh, I forget who doesn't say here, but I forget who has supplies it in America, but you know, it's readily available available in America. So alright guys, please like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video. See you later.